Hey man, you're crossing the Rockies. You're gonna have to ship 5,000 times. And with the universal transmission, you'll be stopped, you'll push your foot on the accelerator, and you'll just go. One of the best components are the components it doesn't have. It doesn't use hydraulics, it doesn't need a clutch, it doesn't use rubber, and it doesn't use friction. The beginning problem was the effect that friction had on elements. They just get hot and melt. That was the principal problem that had to be solved. Positive to positively displaced mechanisms overcome friction and heat. We have a component that's part of the transmission that works in a positively displaced manner. It's not metal sliding against metal, but it's metal pushing metal, which provides for the most torque capacity. You won't ever have to dump the turbos, which is a real pain in the neck for you. Because when you dump the turbos, you lose all your horsepower. You've disconnected the engine from the load. You slow down, sometimes so much that you have to gear down two or three gears. And it's just a nuisance to try to cross any kind of a mountain. Even if it's out in the middle of the plains. If it's a mountain, it's a pain. So the truck driver is going to love this. Number one, the most important thing about having positively displaced, infinitely variable, is that you don't ask the load to coast. You can carry it up a hill and keep the engine and the load connected at all times. The best I can do is it'll feel, not sound like, but feel like you have a jet engine instead of a multi-ratio transmission. Once you push your foot on the accelerator, it just is full speed ahead until you reach top speed. Uh, another feature of the universal transmission is that it stays engaged all the time, but it gives you an infinite number of ratios, which increases its performance. And that's a big deal. That's a big deal for the operator. It has the efficiency and performance of a standard transmission, and yet it's 100% automatic. That's cool when you're a truck driver. I counted the number of times a small semi shifted to make a left turn right over here on University eight times. Eight times. You know, it'd be nice if he could just push his foot on an accelerator, which is no longer a gas pedal with his transmission.